as the Court of Appeal in Accra today castle at to force on the former Deputy Minister of Finance and Richard Jaqua, a businessman, were acquitted and discharged in the case of courts and financial laws to the state. We will bring you brief of the reason for the Court of Appeal's decision and what it means for the case of the state. Meanwhile, the Attorney General says he will appeal at the Supreme Court. Welcome to graphic.com.gh from the Graphic Online TV Newsroom. This is the News in Brief. Graphic Communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form. Download your Graphic News Plus now. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. In a two-to-one majority decision today, the second highest court of the land held that the prosecution handling the case did not establish a prima facie case for Dr. Castle Latofolson, who was the former Deputy Minister of Finance, to answer. Currently, the minority leader in Parliament, Dr. Castle Latofolson, together with the businessman Richard Jaqua, were standing trial for allegedly causing financial loss of 2.37 million euros to the state in an ambulance deal. When the prosecution finished presenting its case at the High Court and it was time for Dr. Forsen to open his defense, he made a submission of no case. But the High Court disagreed and ruled that he had a case to answer and should therefore open his defense. Dr. Forsen then filed an appeal at the Court of Appeal based on which a ruling was made today. The Court of Appeal in its ruling this morning held that there was no basis for the trial High Court to call Dr. Forsen, who is the member of parliament for Ejumaku Enyan Isiam, to open his defense. The court also acquitted and discharged Richard Akpa, the businessman who was standing trial with Dr. Forsen. And after the court of appeal ruling, Dr. Atto Forsen took to social media to celebrate his victory. In celebrating his victory in the high-profile case, Dr. Kaysel Atto Forsen issued a biblical response on social media. This was after he had refused to speak to reporters at the court premises. He wrote a Bible verse from Romans chapter 9, verse 14, which states, What then shall we say? Is God unjust? Not at all. Still on that high profile case, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Yebwadwame, has indicated that the fight is far from over. In a statement, he announced his intention to appeal the verdict at the Supreme Court, describing the verdict as immunical to the fight against impunity and abuse of public office. The Office of the Attorney General said it considers the decision of the Court of Appeal to be perverse in the quest for public accountability and the rule of law. The AG, Godfrey Yebo Adame, said that the decision is clearly heavy against the weight of the cogent evidence led by the prosecution in substantiation of all the charges against the accused persons at the trial. He therefore stated that his office will promptly file an appeal in order to erase the effect of what he called an erroneous decision on the part of the Court of Appeal. Now we take you to France for the ongoing Paris Olympic Games where Ghana's participation in the event started today with swimming. Represented by Harry Stacey, Ghana competed in the men's 100 meters freestyle event, symbolizing the start of Ghana's quest for Olympic glory. Harry Stacey, however, finished seventh in the event which also marked his debut at the world-renowned competition. Competing in hit four lane six, Stacey clocked a time of 51.12 seconds, which falls short of his personal best of 50.57 seconds, which he achieved at the 26th Easter International Swim Meet in Malta. This result makes it impossible for him to advance to the semi-finals. In an interview after, Stacey admitted his performance was below his usual standards, but still described it as a learning experience and hoped to return for the next Olympics. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh and follow us on all social media platforms Graphic Online Ghana on TikTok, Daily Graphic Ghana on Facebook and Instagram, and Graphic GH on YouTube and X. I am Mirabna Koba.